Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where I'm trying to figure out how this poor lone capybara managed to get itself lost inside of this pen when we have a beautiful new capybara paradise over here with our big nose boy Cassie. Oh. All right, guys, as much as I am so happy to have Cassie because he just managed to pop in thanks to the absolutely amazing animal market where we went ahead and we found him a home when we rescued him from the shelter, uh, we are actually going to send him on to another zoo that has been looking for him for literally years now. We're going to pop over and we're going to send him to the London Zoo so we can go ahead and get our hands on a pair of European badgers. Boom! And once we have the badgers out of the way, we'll be one step closer to unlocking even more of the many, many, many different types of animals that there are. Here, we're going to go ahead and return these capybara just so I can show you. Look how many different animals we still haven't even seen. Isn't that amazing? Like what? Also, apparently we already have our donkeys. Where did I put those donkeys? Oh, the donkeys are here. For some reason, I thought the donkeys would be over here, but the donkeys are way over here instead. And we just unlocked a new variety of duck. What? Okay, very exciting. First things first, though, let's go ahead. We're going to give the donkeys a nice shelter that they can go into. Shelters extend the lives of our animals, after all. And then let's go ahead and give them some enrichment. I'm going to provide them with a trampoline. And we're going to give them a big leaf pile to play in because that's kind of a thing that I love to do for all of our animals. Also, a salt block seems very, very obvious as something that the donkeys will probably love. Um, I don't know if, like, here, maybe a water sprinkler because it would suck to live in a desert environment, if you ask me. Oh, and some large balls. Yeah. And then... I think donkeys will enjoy all of those things. I don't know if they need like a scratching post or a cardboard box, but I think those things would be kind of cute and maybe make donkeys, oh, like a chew toy? Do you guys like chew toys? I have never actually been around a donkey now that I think about it. Uh, oh, actually, I know that there's a few things that we could unlock for the donkeys. Because isn't there, yeah, this car tire. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I really want to convert to lab meat, so I want to go ahead and swap over to that as the next thing, but we'll try to get this car tire for the donkeys as well. However, ethically converting to the lab meat is like a big goal of mine. All right, meanwhile, the donkeys seem okay on like their nutrition and everything, I think. Are we just like straight up taking very, very good care of our donkeys nutritionally? Do you guys need like your diet's good? I really don't need to do anything. Oh, you're playing with your chew toy. Okay, that's really cute. Uh, all right, but let's see. So where were we? We are crisping ourselves up some cloned tortoises in order to try to work on the tortoise project. And we are getting ready to trade out one of our capybara so that we can go ahead and we can have our badgers. If we are going to trade for our badgers, we're going to need a place to put them. So let me go ahead and make a little... Maybe like a little badger forest nook. We'll leave some room on this side because I'm probably going to have the path come in there. I don't think it needs to be huge. I say dubiously because I'm not exactly sure like how big a badger zone needs to be. Um, and also now that we're starting to like have our place open at night more often, I'm kind of getting why it would be cool to unlock more of the lamps so that people could maybe like find their way towards our mysterious little badger zone. That could be kind of fun. Like making making fun little like light lit paths to come and explore deeper into our zoo. And yes, there is a tradable there. Oh, yay, all right. We got an A welfare report. Trades with other animals will learn, earn one additional animal for the next 20 days. Let's do this. Yes, now I'm gonna get three badgers. That's even better than two badgers. All right, and before we do the trade, let's make sure the water basin is ready and that we can fit in a shelter. It's starting to look like kind of a small place to me now. I'm a little nervous. I think I'm gonna go ahead and expand it while we still can. So let's change the shape up a little bit. Yeah, even just a little bit more up will be good. There we go. And we're gonna move this. I'm gonna go ahead and let's add in a bit more enrichment. 
I think some bouncing badgers would be hilarious to see. And a couple leaf piles. Um, and badgers like to scratch stuff, right? So I'm gonna put in a scratching post. And maybe some wooden logs for them to climb on, which seems a little weird to me. But hopefully the badgers would enjoy. And I think that's probably good. We'll put in like a large ball. Maybe they'll, they'll kind of push it around a little bit and a couple chew toys. That should be okay. There we go. All right, that should be good. Everything ready for our little badgers. Um, and then, let's see, some ferns. What should I put in the badger area? Like long grass and lilacs? Maybe long grass and lilacs and like a, a big tree up in one of the corners. Oh, and St. John's wort. I don't know why, but St. John's wort just seems like an appropriate plant to kind of put in with the badgers. Badgers feature in so many stories that I have read, um, especially as a kid. I'm not exactly sure why, but badgers were just like a very popular main character in a lot of stories that popped up in children's books. I often see that we have an amazing uh, librarian who is a member of our community and a fantastic patron of ours who uh sharon she's very very sweet and she has an instagram account where she shows like cool books that come into the library that she's able to put out for the kids and i've seen like badgers on a few of them and like the red wall series which i have never read but i probably should it's often recommended by our patrons who are connoisseurs of very good books in case you ever need some advice on cool books to get all right, we got to get rid of all of this clutter and put it somewhere more practical pretty soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's get our badgers. I have prepared quite a palace for them. All right, I hate to trade out our only keepy borrow that looks like this. However, we got a bonus badger. Tip top, yes. Okay, so they're coming. And what's the next trade? <gasps> we can trade cows. We can trade one of our ducks for cows. Oh, it's perfect, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and expand our little like farm chicken coop area and also hire somebody to come and like clean this place up more often. What on earth? I can't believe it's gotten so messy. What the heck? All right, here, here, here. All right, what's wrong with you? I wonder why on earth I can't. Okay, edit, edit. We're gonna change the shape. Here we go. We're gonna make this a lot bigger because we're gonna need more area if I'm adding in cows too. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Got that part, got this part. These guys are hungry. Okay, I need to hire a new keeper. I think we just got a new perk a couple days ago too that lets me like instantly hire park stuff. So quick hire. Oh, look at that. We can go ahead and just quick hire people immediately now. No, not you, friend. Okay, bad work ethic. Very high work ethic. Very high politeness. We'll hire Perry. There we go. Bad work ethic. Good work ethic. We'll hire Kathleen. And then Jamie, politeness low. Okay, we'll dismiss all of these people. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm gonna come over to the staff room. We're gonna go down to Perry, the new person. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give them a little bonus so that their job satisfaction goes through the roof. And we're gonna zone them. She's just for chimpkins. Just chickens and snakes. That's gonna be her job because there's a lot of poop to scoop in there, it seems. And there's about to be a bit more. All right. We've got so many ducks, Sebastian. Thank you, you're gonna make me so happy. We have a bonus cow. Two wonderful cows are on their way to your zoo. Please look after them. They're gentle, friendly, and intelligent. So think of them, uh, so try to think of them as more than burgers on legs. Funny you should say that, friend, because we happen to have a perfect thing to unlock to celebrate getting cows. The lab meat. Boom! Any meat sold in your shops to customers will be switched to lab-grown meat, helping you stay green. I am more than happy to unlock that and get our publicity up. And now there's plant-themed lamp posts. Okay, that's gonna be one of my next goals for sure. Yay, all right. So hopefully we're like doing really, really good and we're being really, really good. Um, I think we can, I'm gonna move 
some of the items that are like in here. Few items, wooden shelter. Let's go ahead, we're gonna move the shelter like down here, I think. And I think we can add in more enrichment for all of these cute animals. We already have leaf piles. Let's have a trampoline. I want to see <gasps> chickens on a trampoline! Chickens on a trampoline! I didn't know I wanted that so bad, but I really did, trust me. Um, and then we could put in a water sprinkler or more leaf piles. Again, I had no idea that I wanted chickens on a trampoline. My average day at the zoo by, by Stephanie Starling. Be first to know where this zoo is not quite perfect. Oh, well, okay, look, we're going to have 335 people come to the park right now. Yeah, sure. You're only going to be here for a couple minutes, unfortunately, but welcome, friends. All right. It's too dark. Visitors are leaving your zoo at night. Oh, because it's too dark. Try to keep your lighting reading at 100% in all sectors of the zoo by building enough lights. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm sure you guys have been yelling at me for like weeks about it, but there were things going on. So my zoo is open until 10, I think, or at least like till after dark. But we don't learn that because it's so dark, everybody leaves. Oh, okay, I'll work on that. Also, do I need to do anything about the lab grown meat or is it just like an automatic thing? I think it's just an automatic thing versus like the farm processor where we process our crops. I should probably put that down to like denote we're trying hard to make our crop, like our crops work. So that is a facility. Surveillance, incinerator, already, well, ah, get back over here facilities. I was not done with you. Research hub, info kiosk, incinerator, huh. So is it like not a building? Is it not an amenity? Oh, we should probably put more restrooms too, huh? Hmm. Surveillance, recycling center. Did I already put it down and I just forgot? I probably already put it down and I forgot. Is this it? That's the vet office, that's the warehouse. Interesting. Well, other things have, look, these monkeys have a lot to do. They're very busy and happy being monkeys. A little tamarind monkey. Oh, we've got so many cool monkeys. We're only like one species away from having like the ability to do all of the crisper splicing with monkeys too, which makes me happy. All right. Meanwhile, Perry is keeping a good eye on all of the animals in here. Where's she headed off to now? She's off to the storeroom, her opportunity to go get food. In six hours, the cow is coming. All right. Well, I might as well get some pathing or at least like some, yeah, some, some sort of pathing put around this exhibit. Here we go. I might even expand this exhibit like one more. Whoops. No. All right, here we go. Okay, so I think I'll put down some pale mud just along here. Or maybe we'll do grass. Yeah, we'll do the, the yellow grass instead of the mud. Get out of here. There we go. Well, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> I kind of like having the pale grass there. And then I think I'll do like a little, uh, maybe a little shelter and some lights over here as well, somehow. Hmm, because I don't like these lights. Okay, if our, if our place is too dark, and we also need to put down directional signs. Um, oh, like this is a perfect light theme. Okay, we'll have to get a few more points in our research before I can go ahead and work on that. And actually, you know what? We would not be where we are without our research staff. Let me go ahead and I'm actually gonna give a heckin' huge like bonus to them. They've been with us a long time. Ramona, I don't think you, like, she still doesn't have the best work ethic, but look, she's doing her best. Give them some satisfaction. Let's see if I can increase, yeah, I'll increase her pay. At least Drusilla, I feel like Drusilla is the one who's always, like, really hauling bunny hunkers to try to make things happen for us. All right, meanwhile, we have a customer who's gotten this far. All this walking is tiring me out. And so she is trying to find some gifts. <gasps> so, okay, we'll follow some of their cues. So, let's see. Tired from walking means we should definitely have some places for people to rest. 
And if they want to shop, we can put in a cute little gift stand over here. Oh my gosh, and it looks like a little farmer's market right here. It's adorable. I was so doing this. All right, I just want to make sure I'm not blocking anybody from like where they need to go. Um, yeah, this should be good. We'll put a cute little gift shop right there. Politeness can go way up if you pay somebody appropriately for the job. Totally understand that. Um, and then we'll put like some little chrysanthemums in pots and a little planter in a pot because it'll look like you can come and you can actually buy some things from the cute little itty bitty. Oh, I love that. Here, here, here. I'm going to move this, this actually, and we're going to put in some of the signs and maybe some of the light. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to need to figure out what I want to do about the light situation because I didn't know people were leaving because they just can't see what's going on in our zoo. That kind of changes things up a little bit for me. I'm going to put a couple white benches here. I think I'm just going to sprinkle some benches. Like if you want to have a seat, you can come and sit and just enjoy the little garden in unexpected spots. Um, yay, our cows are here, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Let's see. And maybe a mini fountain? No, where's the signs? Okay, we'll put down the cute little menu sign right here. Add signs to your park. This will help reduce bad behavior, stop customers from getting lost, etc. Whoops, I did not mean to put a menu sign down there. And there's a little, oh, this looks like the notice board that you would see if you were like in Stardew Valley. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. That's so cute. And now I have a menu sign I need to put down somewhere else. Let's put it over by this taco shop. Oh, it's so cute. And people were complaining about being tired over here. Uh-oh. My money! My precious, precious money! <laughs> okay, we're making a lot of money every week, so I think we're going to be okay. Yay! We still have over $100,000! Boom! That makes me feel really good. Um, let's put some of these garden chairs down for people who want to come and just hang out at the taco shop. There we go. That's not so bad. Yeah, like that. Okay, if I make it all just face like that, then it kind of looks like they're just going to sit and enjoy some tacos. Nice. And let's see how many lights we can unlock. To shed some light on this situation. I'm so glad we converted to lab-grown meat. That makes me very proud. All right, there's one lamppost unlocked. Publicity is up. Unlock one more simple lamppost pack. <gasps> That's right, the plant-themed lamppost. I really want to unlock those. Okay, this is twin lights. Oh, lampposts are so expensive to unlock. Oh, uh, that's okay. It's going to be worth it. And we have cows, you guys. A cow named Puppy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I love that. I really love that. That is so freaking precious. And their nutrition is currently marked as terrible. And at my cow named Puppy. <gasps> oh, I love you, Puppy. Okay, so where are we on our tortoises? <gasps> We're at T minus tortoise time. Let's go ahead and collect our tortoise. Please be, oh, and our food supplies. We need to buy a lot more food for the tortoise and probably all the other animals while I'm at it. Look at all the keepers go into the storeroom. Holy moly. Really, that's interesting that we were apparently bad. Huh. Enough to eat. So are we are we struggling on food for our animals? We shouldn't be. Good. Employee has leveled up. It takes forever for that to happen. June and boy! It's a boy! Yes! Boy the boy tortoise. We have hope at possibly carrying forward on our breeding things there. A few more minutes on this other tortoise. So I think, hmm, should I go ahead and try cloning some of the animals? Or I guess I would need to, yeah, clone animal. Should I clone a cow? Hmm. The things you have to ask yourself about, like, your day. And also maybe the horses, because I would love to really make more progress on the horses. Let's check... With the last few minutes while we wait for the tortoise, I'm pretty sure we need to have a tortoise for the camels, a tortoise for the bears, and a fancy cow for the platypus. I think we need to go cow. That's what my, my intuition is telling me. Let's see, where's my breeding center? Here's my breeding center. 
the horses are still not quite giving us the offspring we were hoping for. And the cows, if I look into the cows right here, this right here, I think is actually the cow that, that Tokyo wants. And it's gonna be really hard to get there. So I think friends, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to yoink these cows off exhibit so we can try to go and get ourselves a new type of cow. And I am actually going to clone some cows. Because the other thing is, if we get a bunch of female cows, then we actually can go ahead and we can have that like cruelty-free milker that they were talking about, uh, which would be kind of cool to see. And our chimkins are playing on the trampoline and in the leaf pile. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get the last tortoise out. Any moment now. Four, three, two, one. And let's hatch it from the vault, friends. Welcome, little tortoise friend. Even more little tortoises inbound. Oh, I love it. All right, and meanwhile, time to clone ourselves some cows. Apparently it's gonna take a long time. Eight days is a very long time for the CRISPR. All right, do we have another? Another boy, Bugsley. All right, well, hopefully June is not too old. She's only 306 days, which is a lot for the, the tortoises. Uh, but hopefully she will be able to bring forth some new life. And uh, we'll be able to have some real cutie pies in here. And our donkeys are busy playing. And our people are super duper happy because they get to go ahead and watch all of our adorable chickens and cows and like everything frolic with one another in here. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. The snake exhibit has gotten out of hand again, but absolutely lovely. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Puppy the Cow and all of the other amazing things that have happened today. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.